This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are in the Super Conqueror because I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. Now, it's been mentioned a few times on the channel that, you know, sometimes you guys get to see just the best of the best that happens on my channel. Which is kind of the point, right? I mean, it's not like I should put up all the bad stuff that you guys uh, don't want to see. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do it that way. But, you know, sometimes it's just one of those games where nothing seems to be going right. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. We're on our dunes, and uh, things are gonna go wrong. I'm gonna get a little salty. Yes, I was I was recording live commentary during this, but most of it is dead air, and nobody wants to just sit here and watch me play a bad game with a bunch of dead air. Um, but there are a couple snippets that I'm gonna keep in, and uh, so be pre-warned that there will be some slight, mild, salty Spartan in this one. Uh, just a couple points. I'll let you know right before it happens, so if you're not wanting to hear it, you can uh, skip over that part. Uh, it's only a few seconds, and uh, it is some slight cursing, so uh, just, you know, little things. It happens. When you're in the heat of the battle, you're gonna curse. Well, at least I do, anyway. Most, maybe most people aren't like me, you know? Maybe maybe most people can get shot and uh, get trolled and, and, and be completely calm about it. But even Bolvot, Mr. It's fine. Get salty. <laughs> Trust me, he does. So Ryan Mattel Panzerwagen loses all of his health right there. Now remember that. Lost all of his health. Still alive. Remember him. He's gonna come in handy later on. So I initially move up, and I'm like, okay, well, E5's right here with me. We know that this is generally a bad plan, but I'm trying to look through the, the little archways to see if I can see down the down the road. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a thing, so I just ease in my way out, don't want to get touched. I uh, realize if I pull out any further, I'm going to get touched from the left. And of course, there's a giant Japanese heavy right behind me. And it's like, really, dude, of all the freaking places, and right here was my first salty moment, but I cut it out because, honestly, it's just, it wasn't that funny. And then there's this medium tank back here. And I'm like, dude, there are just so many people in the way. All right, I'm out. Screw it. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't like getting trapped with people. It's just not a thing that I enjoy. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll scoot around the outside. I'll just kind of pie the corner and maybe I'll catch some people slipping. So, uh, yeah, we get spotted. We get targeted. So we know there's a bad guy there, and I'm looking around, I don't see him, and sure enough, there it is, Emil 2, tier 9, auto-loading heavy tank, from the suites. He was broadside on, not using that armor to the best of his ability, so I punished him for it. Now that Rheinmetall Panzerwagen has 800 health, and I am calling out to the Artie, look out Artie, you have incoming. <laughs> you know, because generally speaking, I don't like Arties to, you know, get completely cut off without knowing it's coming. I've been there. So again, this guy goes out, he doesn't make very good use of his armor, and he gets obliterated once more. And, uh, you know, when you've got that fancy frontal armor, you should probably use it. You know, the side of your tank's not nearly as good. Now here, he's slightly better angled, but I can still see his bottom plate and I put it in through there. So. Uh, I've hit him three times and pinned three shots. Now, he's got to be getting frustrated, but wait for it. That that light tank that just went up and killed our Artie is now shooting from the, the ridge line. Yeah, he's a smart guy. He doesn't have any health, so uh, he's going to take what he can. Now, the Emil gets a shot on me there. Doesn't actually... So here's the first salty Spartan bit. Are you ready? God darn it. Of course, I'm going to get shot. Of course, and we get shot from the light tank that's running around over here because our lights can't come over and do anything about it. I can't see the guy. I needed somebody to like come intercept him. He's over here at like J8, J9 somewhere. All right, so as you can see, I call out that there is a Reimatal Panzerwagen 
out in the distance. Well, it's a light tank. I can, I, I'm getting shot by something I can't see. I know it's the light tank. Uh, I keep looking over there. I'm trying to get him to shoot me. You'll see I kind of pull up a little bit and then I'm just going to fall back. I'm going to get into the alleyway because I can't be caught out in the open with somebody that's going to pick a, uh, a shot every single time that I uh, go in to uh, shoot at that heavy tank. Now here comes the slightly better version of the Salty. Get ready. God, I'm getting shot by shit I can't see. I got his ass. Fucking blind fired the little bastard. Fucking bitch. Little fucking Rheinmetall Panzerwagen. So, as you can see, I pretty much uh, just uh, made that guy regret shooting at me. Now, he wasn't actually shooting at me that last time. He was shooting at the E5, and I just happened to get in the way of the shell. But, when I turned around and uh, was watching, he fired again, and that allowed me to zero in on his position. Now, we, we take a couple rounds from that stupid auto-loading heavy tank, French tank, the AMX-50. Uh, but, we do manage to take him down. Luckily, he didn't reload the last shell or, or whatever he was going to go for. Because if he'd hit me again, he'd probably killed me. That being said... I'm going to get up in here. We've got an E100 who's full health, and that gets my attention because I'm like, well, I ain't got a whole lot of damage up to this point. I've got six hits. One of them was at least a little tiny shot on a uh, Rheinmetall Panzerwagen. So, uh, yeah, definitely not preferable, but it is a thing. So we're going to get up in here. I initially was thinking about pulling straight out, but it looks like his, his turret is facing me. Um, I think I got proxy spotted when I was driving through or past him in the buildings. So I'm going to side scrape here as best I can. Now I've got his turret, so we're going to try to pin his turret. And yes, we do. 366 damage to his turret. Now we're side scraping off the building, making it as hard for him to pin us as possible. And just as he comes around the corner, I put one through the side of his tank and he puts one into me, but does no damage. And then we finish him off for 54 damage. So we end up making something out of nothing there. Not the greatest game ever, but it was a fun little uh, salty Spartan moment up in the hill. So what do we end up with, guys? 2,600 damage, 1,390 blocked, and three kills. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.